What's going on guys? Today we are we've listened to your guys' request. We want to give you guys more in-car vlogs. We want new topics to talk about all the time to share with you guys. We want to share our opinions, our thoughts on new cars, oh, yeah. different stuff going on in the car world. Um, I know also we want to take your guys' opinions on more videos of what we should do and also videos like this on topics that you guys might want to hear. Uh, the topic we're talking about today, as you can tell from the title, we're going to go over our thoughts and opinions, overall just ideas about what we think about the evolution of the Subaru Impreza WX or STI, whichever one you want to mm -hmm. go by. What I'd like to start off with first is obviously we might have a little bit of a biased opinion about our own car because oh, yeah. we have them and we love, we love them. It. But, but overall, we are going to go over all the years, talk to you guys about our opinions. So let's get right into it. So first, starting off with the 99-98 kind of generation of the RS models. So I personally, at first, like kind of wasn't too sure what I thought about those, and now I love them. I've seen what people have done with them, and it's absolutely awesome, amazing, cool stuff. How they make a kind of like the RSTI type of thing. That like they look sweet. Those builds are some kind of one of my favorites, and would one that I personally would love to do down the road because it's such a almost like JDM kind of looking car. I know it's kind of like a cheesy-ish thing to say, but it really is a great car. A couple of our friends have them, and they look awesome. They sound awesome. Just overall a great kind of genuine Subaru. Yeah, I really, really, like genuinely fell in love with them after we went to that rally race. Like, they were more of the older versions of the uh, RS models that were doing rally uh, than any other generation was. And I don't know, I really like, I really like the old kind of retro look of them. And they look, they're very plain looking, but at the same time, they're, they're just so cool to look at. And I love them. So moving on to the 02 to 03, the Bug Eye. That, that's, personally, again, uh, obviously all of this is gonna be like my opinion, Jordan's opinion. I never really liked the Bug Eye for the longest time. When I was looking to buy my Subaru, I saw so many Bug Eyes that were kind of available. Most of them were wagons, and I just didn't really want a wagon. But just, again, kind of learning more about Subarus and getting more involved in, I guess, the Subaru culture. I've learned to like them and love them, which I think is still kind of almost like a bias thing just because I like Subarus and it's not an outside perspective. But seeing what people can do with them, I think they do look really cool and it's something you can really build. Personally, it's like a stock one I don't enjoy as much compared to one that someone's done a nice build on. I think adding to it really enhances the, the looks, the kind of culture of it, and makes me enjoy it more. Um, my overall thoughts on the Bug Guy, I've learned to love them. Uh, if I were to ever buy one or purchase one, I would definitely turn it into like a straight rally car. Uh, back then they had the big old bug eye headlights. Um, all the all the lighting and all the stuff like that was very large um, and obviously that was for the use of rally racing. But if in my opinion it's not one of my favorite models but I really do enjoy them when I see them like on a rally setup or something like that. I, I do enjoy them. Not one of my favorites but again that's just my opinion so like I guess to sum it up for a bug eye I guess now that I've heard your opinion too when they're done right they're good all right so next on the list is the blob eye which obviously as if you've watched any of our channel you know that's probably our favorite so I love the blob eye it's like pretty much everything about it I think was done right I love the way the taillights look it's just really aesthetically pleasing all around even stock it's tough for me to talk about because it's like there's nothing I don't like about it it's really just overall really well I love the interior pretty much kind of the same as the bug eye but I think just this one step forward they took in the, the next year the seats are better the steering wheel is pretty much the same but probably a little bit better everything is overall better about the blob eye in my opinion also the same as him obviously being biased about my own car I do love it I guess the on the WX level, uh, I guess I, I like these seats. I like the style seating, 
but if you compare them next to the 04 STI seats, these, these look pretty crappy. Um, the material that they use on these are just cloth and stuff, which is not bad. I still love them, but I do wish they came with a little bit better material on the seating, um, just, just as the STI does. Overall, I love the Boabay. Um, the front end is pretty much one of my favorite years. Um, I love that it's it's very it's very different because you can go with this, you can put it as a rally car, and or you can put it as a street car, and both ways pretty much look amazing to me. Yeah. On the STI level of the 04 um, Subaru, I love the way it comes with the big box wing. That was the first year they came with the new box wing. Uh, they also came stuck with the VBS wheels and Brembo brakes. The 04 STI is something special for America, especially because it's the obviously the first year that they brought the STI to America. Before that, all they had was the STIs kept over in Japan. The first year that they brought it over, this was the last year that they had kept the 2.0 motor. Any, any year after this, they have the 2.5 liter um, flat four. So this is kind of, it's kind of a special car. They kept the 2.0. I honestly, I've never had, I mean, there's issues with them, but the 04 is pretty much one of my favorite years. Moving on to the Hawkeye, which is 06, 07 years. Hawkeyes are another one of my favorites. I don't know why it was during my buying process, all I wanted was a blob eye, so I didn't even like like Hawkeyes for a reason. But then as soon as I thought about buying one, it kind of really changed my mindset and I really love them. I actually met up with a guy and drove one and ended up turning him down because he was asking a little too much and there was some rust that I didn't like. I think like just the way they kind of redid the front bumper where it all to me looks really smooth and the fog light covers really fill in, especially on the STI compared to ours where they stick out. I like both, but I just really love how smooth it looks, how they got kind of the STI like side skirts kind of built in. It's a really well done car. Everything about it looks really good. And I, it's personally now that I've learned more about it, one of my favorites along with the Blob Eye. It's probably my two favorite years. They are one of the most sought after STIs out of all of them. I know everybody really, really loves them. They're always so expensive when you go to look for them. Uh, one of our friends has them that is in one of our new groups of uh, Subi guys that we hang out with. Uh, it actually beat a Lamborghini. I think it was a quarter mile, it beat the Lambo. Yeah. But it's just stuff like that, like that, that Hawkeye STI is probably like one of the most popular ones out there. Um, I do enjoy myself. The only issue I have with the 06 and 07 is the taillights. They kept the same shape, but I do not like how they had the top portion red and the bottom portion like the chrome or silver or whatever. I don't really like that. I like how mine is where it's completely filled in red. Uh, but that's just one of the things where you can always go ahead and switch those out for the older ones if you don't like them. Moving on to 2008 to 2009, what we kind of call the stink eye, I guess. It's not a official name of how everyone actually calls them, but it's that first year of the almost like modified Hawkeye lights. And this is what's like the narrow body. It's one of my, I guess, least favorites. This is the same car that Adam has as his winter car. And they're not bad, I just don't really like the way the grill looks as much. It doesn't, like how we can put in like a full mesh grill and just emblem delete type of thing. I don't know, it's just on those cars, they don't look as good to me. It's kind of just awkward almost looking if you do it. Not as aesthetically pleasing to me as the, the previous years. Sitting on the interior, seats are still comfortable, not as comfortable as these seats. They don't hold you in as well. Yeah, they don't have as much bolstering. They're kind of more flat. The whole like system, I guess the nav and everything there is pretty nice. Not as nice as the new ones, obviously, because technology is advanced through there, but it still is a very good system for what it is. One thing I do want to mention that I think just goes for all Subaru is the stock shift knobs they've had until recently are just terrible. Those old kind of leathery knobs, I feel like they're just kind of awkward shaped. I always prefer like a nice, like the ball or a taller type knob. Overall, I'd say it's like, it's a okay looking car. It's not the best. The rear end, just same thing. I, overall, I don't think it was done 
to the best it could have been. The lights are a little odd for me. I think they really cleaned it up with the the year after where they kind of wide bodied it and everything. I feel like it was a work in progress. It was obviously the first year of a new body change that I think they made better in the next year. What's what's your opinion? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna bash it even harder than Brian <laughs> did. I hate. I hate, hate, hate. Oh man. The 08 and 09. Um, the, narrow, and the narrow body? Yeah. It's just very weird. I don't really like it. Like, like just looking at it, it looks like a, just a normal car. That's like the first year they took away the hood scoop. Yeah, the one that the, stands the, up and now it's a, it's a like more indented vent. Not, not that I, I hate the car. I just, I don't know. I, I'm proud of Subaru to make a new body style and get out of their model that they've been making since the 02 version but I don't I really really do not like the looks of that car also the stock exhaust like that Adam has is one of the quietest oh my God. it's it's like a Prius not that you're gonna keep it stock exhaust but it just kind of shows from if it comes stock, then it has a little bit of that rumble, but you literally cannot hear anything at all. That is our somewhat hatred type opinion. That not sorry, Adam. The car, but yeah. also adding to the 08 and 09, this was also something I didn't really like, but I'm glad they added it. I love that they added a hatchback WRX and STI. But still with the same thing, it's way too narrow, it looks plain. The rear spoiler on top of the hatch just kind of looks like a little nub instead of an actual yeah. spoiler. I think if I was to ever get an 0809 car, it would have to be the hatch. If I was to rate those two cars, sedan's like a two, and then their hatch version's more like a six, seven, eight. They're like way better car, way better looking, but was made even better when they went the wide body route. Moving on, I think Subaru completely redeemed themselves when they wide bodied the hatch and sedan version. It is one of my favorite years ever. Oh my god. They, yeah. The design on that was perfect. I don't think there I don't really have any complaints at all. That car is just design. way better. It's like it's almost like someone drew up an idea when they did 0809 and they were like, we know we can do better. They did. They they did that wide body style and that car completely transformed into like just an absolutely amazing car. You look for builds on those cars and you see the best stuff. Like people do those cars right. You can't say anything bad about those those years in my opinion. Let us know what you think in the comments if there is something bad because we personally love those. All right, lastly, we're gonna go with the the 15, 16, 17, 18, I guess. We'll talk about 17 and 18 last because there's only minor alterations there. 15, 16, I like how they're keeping up with their body style changes. It helps that we've been around it a lot with Adam. I do love that for WRXs of that year, they changed the motor and went with the FA. That motor sounds mean. There's a lot of turbo swivel with that. As you saw, we did that WRX review. I never actually got to drive that car. But that FA methanol uh, kit, I guess, that our front buddy had, uh, Derek, that video is at the top if you haven't seen that. Amazing video, go check that out. The WRX of that year, really well done. Good look to it. I do like the taillights. It's kind of more reminiscent of the first RS body styles when you put those two together. Obviously, this is a much bigger car, but you look at the headlights and they're more similar, and I think they try to almost go back to the roots. You feel me there? Where they almost made it like the modern version of the old RS. Then comparing that to the STI, obviously same motor as before, but standard control differential, a lot of good stuff coming with it. Good electronics in the car, amazing sound system, that Harman Kardon system that Adam has in his car. It, that bumps that's a good system What's going on about the fa motor they i know a lot of people actually do not buy or want to buy a new wx because of the fa change um in my opinion obviously the i believe that the boxer rumble of the ej motor sounds a lot better than the fa fa sounds great yeah but it sounds a little bit high and raspy 
I, I get you there. But uh, I think it's still great. I love the response of that motor as I did that review. It, it does Lucky. pull up a little bit faster. If I had to choose, I would still go with the STI. I would still love to have a WX if someone else yeah. gave me one. But. One thing I realized we probably should throw in is like talking about the 17. It's pretty much the same thing as 15, 16. So we'll just clump that in with that. But I do have a couple things I want to say that about the 18. We'll give a better description of how we feel with it because we have never even seen one in real life. I've seen a couple things and heard a couple people talk about them. Kind of like what they did with the fog lights where it's got a more lines with it. They go a little bit long, more along with the bumper. I do have to say one thing though. This is going to be pretty harsh. I hate, hate's a big word, that new grill. Yeah. If I was to choose a grill, I like the 15, 16, 17 grill better than the like the stock one for the US models better than the new 18 US grill. I don't like either of them over the JDM one. The JDM one's way better. I really don't know much more about the car. I know there's other little things with like steering wheel and stuff, but I haven't even driven Adam's car or other people's cars that much to know a visible difference. We'll give a more in-depth review on that. I don't know, do you have anything to say about the 18? Major difference though. All I've noticed was that front, like you said, the front grille as well as yeah. like the front bumper, how it, there's no, there's no connector part on the bottom that's the same color as the car, if you know what I mean. Maybe it'll grow on me, just not sure yet. But I do know that front grille is just kind of weird where it just drops off and there's nothing there. But. I think that wraps it up. We've gone from beginning to end of what we think of all the Subarus and the evolution. Tell us what you think. Let us know in the comments section below how you think Subaru has done it over the years, what your favorite Subaru is. We'd love to know, that'd be awesome. Also, leave comments of topics you'd like us to do. We're gonna reference this video to find new topics to talk about. And I think that wraps it up for today. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Let us know if you want more of these. We'd love to keep talking to you guys about stuff. And peace out and stay wicked.